Please be seated. My personal welcome to you on this very, very special day, which is special for all of us. Our graduates will soon receive their undergraduate and graduate degrees. Parents, spouses, family members, and friends exude pride and joy for your accomplishments. To the graduating class, my heartfelt congratulations. We look forward to and expect you to contribute to and have leadership roles in American and international biomedical sciences and research. And that's an awesome charge and responsibility. I also want to take a moment and ask you to help me recognize and thank the tireless efforts of our faculty and staff for preparing this outstanding class for your careers in biomedical sciences. Please join me in showing appreciation. It's next my privilege to introduce the 15th president of the university at Buffalo, President Satish Tripathi. On behalf of the entire university at Buffalo community, congratulations to the Biomedical Sciences Class of 2011. We are here today to celebrate you, our graduates, on this great milestone in your personal, professional, and academic lives. This year, we also mark our 165th annual commencement season, a key milestone for UB. Although UB has changed dramatically over the years, our mission has not. That mission is simply this, to make the world a better place. You are taking your place in a long line of UB graduates dedicated to changing the world. But while many others have come before you, you will advance UB's mission in ways no one else has imagined. Oscar Wilde once remarked that to expect the unexpected shows a thoroughly modern intellect. And that is exactly what UB graduates have taught us over the past 165 years to expect our alumni to contribute to the world in ways that are entirely unexpected. On June 16, 1847, Millard Fillmore, the 13th President of the United States and the first Chancellor of our university addressed 18 members of the first graduating class of this institution, then a small private medical college known as the University of Buffalo, praising those graduates as the first fruits of this literary and scientific vineyard. President Fillmore added, I trust they're only samples of a more abundant harvest that is to be annually gathered hereafter. Today, as UB's 15th president, I can state without doubt that President Fillmore's vision of a more abundant harvest has indeed come to fruition. But I'm willing to bet that President Fillmore never could have envisioned just how abundant and diverse this harvest would be. From that small private medical college, UB has grown into a major internationalized public research university of some 29,000 students, a flagship of the State University of New York system and a proud member of the prestigious Association of American Universities. And so for all the high hopes and great expectations that came with that first commencement, 
no one could have foreseen in 1847 just how much that fledgling medical institution would one day grow and how far its reach would extend beyond the Buffalo city limits. For that matter, no one could have predicted how complex the biological field, biomedical field itself would become either. No one could have anticipated the new medical discoveries to come from the emergence of the germ theory of disease in the latter part of the 19th century to the discovery of the structure of DNA in the 20th century to the successful mapping of human genome in the start of 21st century. And no one could have imagined just how substantial a role this university would play in shaping biomedical knowledge, research, clinical practice, and training over the years. From the invention and refinement of the implantable cardiac pacemaker to a pioneering air sterilization device that will create safer environments in hospital, mass transit systems, and military bases, UB Biomedical Research has been at the forefront of much of the medical progress shaping the world around us. Our research improves the quality of life the people for people everywhere, here in Western New York and around the world. As students in UB's biomedical programs, you have played an active part in this progress. Now, as alumni, you have the incredible opportunity of determining how you will use your UB education to change our world for better. What ancient medical puzzles will you help solve? What brand new field will you help shape? What unexpected difference will you make in the world? It is impossible to predict the answers of all these questions. But one thing is certain, wherever you go from here, we are confident you will pursue UB's mission in ways that create unexpected new possibilities and open new doors of discovery. After all, we are counting on you to pave the way for the generation of UB graduates who will one day follow in your footsteps as they cross the stage and imagine their own distinctive contributions. My sincerest congratulations to our graduates on all you have contributed and achieved to service the public good and best wishes for all the unimaginable good we know you will do as UB alumni. Congratulations.